All right, guys, so I know a lot of my Thai viewers absolutely love KFC. It's an institution for you guys. So my Thai brothers and sisters, you can eat what you want. Today's video is firmly aimed at my fellow Falang. Put that bargain bucket in the bin and try it some of this amazing Thai street food. Now today, there's no way I can eat all of this chicken by myself. So I've flown in my brother from another, from Vietnam, Mr. Max McFarlane, to help me eat this street food feast. Uh, let's go. All right, first stop, Boring Market. All right, so we're just before lunch, guys, so it's gonna start getting busy in a sec. All right, guys, stop number one, Gaid Hod Had Yai. So as the name suggests, this is Had Yai Fried Chicken, the original fried chicken in Thailand. I'm super excited to show Max this one. Of course, we're gonna be getting some som tam as well. Let's, let's go and sorry, Ah, uh, look, she's, she's one step ahead of us, guys. Right, so we've got the, yeah, look, I'm gonna do my best to be a waiter here. Me, 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 I'm just telling me. Me, Cab, cab. She's tried to give me the foreign. She's tried to give us the foreigner, uh, foreigner sauce. All right. So she already knows not to give me the breast. She's giving me the leg. She's giving me the leg. All right. Oh, some thumb, some thumb. I'll pet it. I'll pet it. <laughs> okay. Max, you eat, you eat pala, don't you? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. So in here, we've got the dried chili as well. So we're not using fresh chili, we're using dried chili. We've got fresh chili, dried chili. We've got a tomatoon. Papaya salad, tomatoes, peanuts. We'll explain a little bit in a minute. We've got Uncle Koppen Cup. We've got Uncle over here frying off the chicken, but he's not just frying the chicken, he's frying those shallots as well. In the oil, the same oil he's frying the chicken in. So you just got flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. We're gonna be dipping into this bad boy, Nam Jim Gel, which I will explain a little bit more about in a minute. Here's our som tam. Chilies all over the shop. Cup and cup. Look at that, guys. All right, let's have a little look at our feast, guys. All right, so if you're foreign like me, they're gonna immediately, and they'll do this in Had Yai as well. Not, this isn't just in Bangkok. They will give you this. They will give you the sweet chili sauce. Okay, Nam Chim Kai. There's nothing wrong with this. They make their own here, so it's a little bit more sour than the like viscous, syrupy one you get out of a bottle. But for me, guys, it's all about the nam tim chow. So, tamarind, fish sauce, dried chili, palm sugar, they've got lime juice in here, some culantro, cilantro, coriander, uh, and a little bit of toasted rice. All right, guys, let me run you through what we've got. So we've got this perfectly fried chicken. This has been marinated in oyster sauce, soy sauce, white pepper, um, a little bit of sugar, and that is just fried off to crispy perfection. Now, if you go to Had Yai, there's gonna be a couple of different types. Some are doused in flour and then fried. Hers is just marinated and then fried. It also has coriander root and garlic, if I didn't say that, topped off. And all Had Yai Gaid Hard or Gaid Hard Had Yai has to be topped with these crispy fried shallots. Now, you can, and a few places will just get these. You can buy them in 7-Eleven in a little pot. Look, I like all fried onions, fried shallots, but when they're homemade like this, in with all that marinade, absolutely perfect. So let's get in here and see how juicy this thigh is. So we've got a thigh, we've got a drumstick. What would be your preferred, Max? Uh, I'll take the drumstick. You'll take the drumstick, good answer. Max knows I want this thigh. So I'm not gonna eat it Thai style. Thai people would probably eat this with a knife and fork, but I'm just gonna go straight in. No dip. On our first stop, after eating this, you'll agree with me, you'll never go to KFC again. Soft, juicy, tender, semi-sweet, salty. Let's have a little dip in our, in our gel. So gel is, um, 
is an Isan dipping sauce. And obviously, as the name suggests, this is from the south, but I'll go into that a little bit more with the som tam. Mm. Spicy, sweet. Again, tart and sour. You've got some tamarind in there, as I said, lime juice. The two different types of sourness. Completes this dish perfectly. I'll get Max to try the sweet chili sauce and see what he thinks, but this combination sticky rice sauce on chicken a winner now no fried chicken is complete in my opinion without a som tam now she gave me som tam thai which she would usually give me which is what i used to order she asked me as a joke if i like mala which is the fermented fish sauce and i said yes but she thought i was joking so she didn't actually put any in so this is just lime juice fish sauce palm sugar and this one's quite heavy on the tamarind if i remember correctly mm. And it's not too sweet, but I think that's because she knows I don't like it too sweet. Crunchy, salty, just again, the perfect accompaniment. The freshness that this fried chicken needs. Mm. Let's see what Max thinks. All right, Max, let's see what you think, my friend. All right, first I gotta try some crispy shallots here. I mean, I love crispy shallots. This may be a reason I live in Vietnam. Oh, you guys are big on the shallots, oh. right? She does a good job here. It's that perfect caramelization where you get that little bit of sweetness, that bitterness, and then that aroma from that onion garlic family. Mm, beautiful. I gotta go for my little drumstick here. Oh, nice and juicy. I like that. To me, it took me a while to get used to like coming to Asia and seeing chicken fried without a batter, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we batter in the United States no matter what. So to me, this is like naked fried chicken. Such a simple step, but a beautiful thing. Frying it in the same oil as he does those crispy shallots. To me, that oil has almost just become like that crispy, garlicky, caramelized shallot infused into that chicken. Super juicy, super tender, cooked perfectly. But hold on, I'm supposed to try the, the foreigner sauce, yeah, right? Yeah, try the foreigner sauce. I don't know, I mean, this looks, this looks weak. This looks like a little, uh, <laughs> looks like a little <laughs> limoncello or something after you. <laughs> There's a Thai limoncello little, right here. Little palate cleanser. It's tart, it's sweet, it's nice, but to me, it's all about this right here. You gotta have that spice, that heat. Oh. Oh yeah, that's what you want. And look at that, you're getting the skin of the garlic and everything. That's how I love. Got all that roughness, that texture. Just throw it in, pound it in, and serve it up. Beautiful, I need that crunch, I need that freshness, I need that, that papaya, I need that tartness, that sourness to cut through all that fried chicken and crispy shallot. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, first stop. Two thumbs up, my man. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, I did say I was gonna tell you prices, guys, didn't I? So 10, 45, 55, 45. The most expensive thing is like $1.50, guys, so. Hello, man. Hello, man. Oh, hello, tea sword, no good tip. No good Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. And I forgot to say, this chicken shop actually used to be next door in Klong San Market, which used to be a really bustling market. Now it's absolutely dead, derelict, and they're knocking it down. But she used to be in there. That's how I know her. Uh, and now she's in here, guys. So for anyone who watched that old video, yes, it is the same place. Now, let's get on to the next one. All right, Max, second stop. I'm gonna take you for some halal food. We're gonna go to a Muslim restaurant. We're gonna get some khao mokgai, Thai biryani with fried chicken. But before we go in, I know you've only just got to this street and you've never been here before, but have you ever wondered where you can stay that's a nice hotel right on the doorstep of some street food? I would, I mean, it's a nice area, why not? There you go. Well, let's go over to uh, other Gary and he's gonna explain uh, a nice little hotel that I think you and the viewers would appreciate. All right, guys, so I just wanna take two minutes of your time to talk about the partner of today's video, 10600 Hotel in Bangkok. 
So do you want to visit Bangkok to sample all of the delicious street food on offer but stay in somewhere comfortable and stylish at the same time? If the answer is yes, then 10600 might just be your place. This brand spanking new hotel is situated on the banks of the Chow Prayer River and this is going to take some beating. The rooms are absolutely immaculate, some with absolutely stunning views of the river. It's got two lovely little swimming pools, again with unbelievable views. It's got a fully equipped gym and an absolutely unbelievable rooftop bar. We went up there, sampled some of the Western cuisine, and actually, I've got to say, this was one of the best carbonaras I have had in Thailand. Go up there at sunset, grab yourself a little sundowner. I had a nice little pandan rum cocktail, absolutely incredible. Breakfast is served out on the terrace, again, on the banks of the Chow Prayer River. Unrivaled views. Now, I'm not one to talk about hotel breakfast, as you know, but it was fine for what it was, and really, it's all about the views. It's free, can't complain. So guys, links in the description. I get no commission for this whatsoever. So just go on and find the cheapest deal you can find. I'm sure you won't be disappointed with this hotel. A full review will be up on the family channel. So links to that in the description box for this video. That's it from this Gary. Back to the other Gary, eating some delicious fried chicken with my man Max. All right, guys, so stop number two, Noor. Place I've been coming for years now, probably about eight years I've been here. I actually took that photo <laughs> for anyone who cares. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and uh, have a look in the kitchen and see what I can find. Whoa. Oh, look at that. The guy Oh, look at this. All right, we might have to get some of this as well, guys. Alright, so we've ordered one grilled chicken, we've got the fried chicken, we've got roti plain and we've got a roti with banana and we get to watch her make the roti. Skills pay the bills guys, you can tell this woman's been doing this for years. Let's take a look. This is a fried chicken video guys this is what we've come for and we're going to be getting some of this fried chicken the guide hot with that beautiful yellow rice All right, Max, you're the guest, so uh, you eat first. Okay. I want you to try this fried chicken. All right. I put my mic on. All right, so you're going to have that crispy fried chicken that's been marinated in. This has actually got a flour batter. So yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. Bit of a flour batter. There's a little bit of turmeric in the batter here, very well seasoned. You can tell, you can see that yellow color right there. 
This looks more like fried chicken, like I would resemble. I get back home, you can see that the way it's actually been battered going into the sauce here. Looks like a nice sweet sauce. Oh, man. To me, like, I'm usually not a sweet sauce guy, but when you have that batter, that crispy, that crunchy fried chicken dipped in that sweet, garlicky, slight little kick of heat sauce, that to me is a match made in heaven. All those fried shallots, man, I didn't oh, realize you were going. Fried shallot, man. He's hooking me up with all the fried shallots. And you see where the where the chicken's been cooked in with the rice. Even when you don't order that chicken, you still, you still get some. some chicken in there. So there's a chicken biryani. Using that jasmine rice, that's really nicely done. I mean, it's typical Thai style too. Like, it's not like biryani that I've had in India or Pakistan or anything like that. Man, a little subtle sweetness coming from it as well, which I actually like. A little bit of warming spice, probably like all those spice trade spices as well. I think a lot, mm. some of the sweetness is coming from the fact they're using whole cinnamon. Sticks. That's what I'm saying. It's, the yeah. sweetness is coming from the spices. That's nice. Little cucumber. It's good. Right, I'm gonna go fried chicken as well, guys. Um, we have got the grilled chicken here as well, but that's gonna be a, probably a touch too sweet for me, but we'll see. All right. I'm gonna try it with nothing first. The first flavor I'm getting is cracked coriander seeds. And they're obviously using like whole coriander seeds in this, which I like a lot. Really, really crispy batter. And as we alluded to in the last video, you know, it's all a matter of preference whether you want that batter or you don't want that batter. When we ate the last one, I was like, oh, actually, I'm not really a batter kind of guy. I like it like this. But now I've just bitten into this. I'm like, oh, actually, I want that crispy, crunchy, salty batter. All right, I'll try the sauce. Now, in Thai biryani, Kaum Wok, I would very, very rarely ever, ever, ever eat the sauce with it. One, because the rice is quite uh, moist anyway, and the chicken's usually moist. I don't think it needs it. And two, it's usually very, very sweet. And although this is sweet, and it's got a sweetness to it, it's also quite sour because they're using vinegar, sugar. There's mint in there and chili, so it's nice and fresh. And it does really cut the sort of fatty richness of the chicken. And try some of this rice. Mm. Oh. I forget how much I like it in here. Heavy, heavy, heavy on the cumin, as Max alluded to. You've got that sweetness coming through from the cinnamon. I love the little bits of almost stewed chicken that you're getting through the rice because how mok means to hide the chicken, or mok gai means hide the chicken in the rice. So that alludes to the fact that it's cooked in with the rice. You're getting all those chicken juices, all that kind of stock coming from the chicken, uh, keeping everything nice and moist. And you get those nice, lovely bits of shredded chicken as well. A top, top, top chicken rice. All right, Max has already started on the on the grilled chicken. Yes. Looks nice. It looks like it's like coated in a sauce as well, almost like a barbecue sauce. Like barbecue they're almost sauce. like that's just, that's just grilling it and uh, dipping it with the barbecue sauce. I guess I was rude last place. I, I hit with the sauce before even trying it plain, so I'll try this one plain. You know, oh, it tastes more like a thigh meat to me. So I don't like that like, barbecue breast, right? But I love thigh meat because it's just so easy to be so juicy and fatty and tender. And that with this like sweet, sour, maybe a little bit of tamarind, but kind of again reminds me of like barbecue sauce. Love it with like grilled chicken right there, that char on it. It's good grilled chicken. All right guys, so the more I look at this, now I've looked at it, it's actually not gaiyang. Gaiyang means uh, grilled chicken. It is technically grilled chicken, but it's another dish from the South called gai gole. So it's a dish that you would only really find in Muslim areas in the south or anywhere else with a big Muslim population. So it's tamarind, shrimp paste, I believe, uh, some coconut milk, cinnamon, uh, shallots. And it is essentially, like Max said, it's like a barbecue chicken, um, but it's a Southern Thai barbecue chicken.
it is sweet, but it's sweet and kind of tart from the tamarind, and you've got a nice little saltiness from the shrimp paste, nice and moist from the fact, as Max said, it's thigh, plus you've got that coconut milk. For me, we don't need to go any sauce here because it is so moist, so tender, so juicy, and I don't really want to mess with the marinade that they put on. It's a little smoky, that's a really, really good version. Usually, what threw me off is usually when you see this in Bangkok, it is bright and luminous red from food coloring, which they obviously haven't used. It's a bit of background spice. Yeah, top dish. All right, so Max is a bit more of a sweet man than me. I, I know this. So I'm going to let you crack on with the roti. 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 And the Thai or And this is just uh, sweet condensed milk, I do believe, with the banana. Yeah, banana inside. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, just like bread that's been sitting in oil, cooked over a flat iron, butter topped on it, sweet condensed milk, banana. Can't really go wrong with it. Oh, no, no. Let's see and then uh, wash my sugar down with sugar. <laughs> All right, Max, so what did you think of the chicken? I like the chicken, completely different than the first spot. I mean, that's been battered. It was actually drier, but it was still tender. Mm. But to me, it's the rice. The rice was the one, right? I like the rice there. The yeah. rice was the one. Better than a dry burger bun from KFC or not. Yeah, yeah, definitely better. 100%. All right, guys, so hopefully we've given you a couple of alternative spots for when you get to Thailand. You're not quite sure what to order. Your heart, your head is telling you, just go into a Western fast food joint, but your heart is telling you, you want something different. These are a couple of spots for you to hit. Thanks very much for coming on today, Max. It's, no, been, a, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, for sure. No, I appreciate you just uh, taking me around to eat. It was real, I mean, hard day, hard day. There you go. All right, guys, For if for whatever reason you're following me and not following Max, get over now. All this stuff is in the description box below. That's about it from us today, so I guess we'll uh, see you in the next one.